Hey everybody, Big Phil S-I-N-Y again. Guess what? It's Sunday and we got another video for you. You're gonna ask why I'm holding a Twinkie. I'll let you know after my opening. Stick around. It's sure to have a good time. Alright, let me start off by giving a shout out to my old high, uh, old high school buddy, Eddie Krutoff. He's in Florida. He's got a little business in Florida. If he gives me some props in this video, I'll maybe give his business some props over in Florida. How about that, Eddie? It's this time of the show where I thank my subscribers that subscribed between Sunday last week and Sunday this week. Let's start this. Leo Girl, 1971. Thank you for subscribing to my channel. Joseph Heiss, thank you for subscribing to my channel. Be sure to check out my videos. K Star 17, thank you for subscribing to my channel. Albert Shivers, he's an old friend of mine. My, my parents were friends of his parents. Al, thank you for subscribing to my channel. I also want to give, out a, sh give a shout out to We Are Object. He's a subscriber of mine, and he kind of felt a little left out. So, in this video, I want to give him a shout out. What's good? We are object. We're going to do something a little different today. We're going to do a good news segment and a bad news segment. But first, I want to answer the questions you asked me last week. I have some funny ones. Thank you for asking. Be sure to ask again this week questions on this video below. This question comes from K Star 17. What are your feelings about the social unrest between the Palestinians and Israel? I'm not really a big news buff, so I really don't have any feelings on that subject, but thank you for that question. K Star 17 also asked, with such big hands, how do you get cotton balls out of the medicine bottles? Well, K-Star 17, I dumped the, the pills out to get the cotton balls out, and then I put them all back in. I know it's a little unsanitary, but with big hands, it's hard to get those cotton balls out. Thank you for your question. The next question was from Sinking QE2. He asked me what my shoe size was, and if I could fit my fist in my mouth. Well, QE2, I am a 16 size shoe. I cannot fit my fist in my mouth, I'm sorry. Maybe next week I'll try that, but this week I cannot. The next question is from, oh my God, it's Judy. She asked, can I have a phone like that? Well, last week you saw my video, I got the Galaxy S3 for Sprint. I'm sorry, oh my God, it's Judy, I'm broke. I don't have many subscribers, I can't afford to buy you this phone. Maybe when I get more subscribers, and I get more money from YouTube, I could buy you that phone. Nick ST11 asked, are you always not going to have a shirt on? Well, Nick ST11, I have a shirt on today. He also asked what my weight was. I'm about 355. I used to weigh over 400, but I started going to the gym and eating better, and now I weigh less than 400. Nick ST11 also asked, did I ever ride in a cab? Yes, I did. And my knees hit the back of the seat because I'm tall. I'm 6'9". He also asked, do I want to marry Donald Trump? No, I don't want to marry Donald Trump. I just want him to give me millions of dollars. Nick also asked, would I admit to masturbating to henty porn? No, I don't masturbate to henty porn. I'm sorry. He also asked, what is the girth of my member? Sorry, Nick, that's none of your business, Nick. Nick also asked, if my friend was bitten by a snake, a poisonous snake, in the penis, and he had five minutes to live, would I suck the poison out? No, I wouldn't, Nick. I'm sorry. So, I hope no snakes bite your penis. Nick also asked, why do I eat so much? Nick, how do you know I eat much? Come on, man. Seriously. He, Nick also asked, what time do you get up in the morning? Nick, I get up at 8 o'clock in the morning. Nick also asked... I think Nick's my admirer because he's asking me all these questions. Nick, I wear socks when I wear sneakers or shoes. H Moody 18 asked, have I ever visited Saudi Arabia? H Moody 18, I did not visit Saudi Arabia, sorry. I can't afford to go on a trip. And I want to correct something I said last week. Surgic 03, what a C, I made a mistake. There you go, Surgic. I fixed that. Now, I told you I was going to tell you what the Twinkie was for. The Twinkie is for, I'm hoping, my you know the snapshot that you see when you're looking at youtube videos i'm hoping that the first 30 seconds of me holding this 
I could choose that as a snapshot because when people say Q&A Sunday, they ain't going to look at your video. What makes your video better than anybody else's video? So I'm hoping that they see a big guy and they see a Twinkie and they say, oh, I better look at that video. So if you happen to click on this video because you saw me holding a Twinkie, please comment below and let me know that's why you clicked on this video. And if you like my video, please subscribe to my channel. And don't forget, through all this video, if you have any questions for me about me or any of my videos, c comment below with the question and next Sunday, I'm gonna answer those questions. Now, on to the bad news segment. This is one of the bad news I got during this week. A good friend of the family, a good friend of mine, his, his name is DJ Phil. I call him DJ Phil, because he's a DJ. He was diagnosed with cancer, and it's just not cancer in one spot. It's cancer in multiple places of his body. So um, I hope everybody says a prayer for him. I am saying a prayer for him. He's a good man. He reminds me of when I watch Casino and Goodfellas because he's an old Italian guy. He grew up when Casino and Goodfellas was like, he grew up in that era. So he reminds me of the guys from that movie. All right, God bless Phil. Now the good news segment is... Today, my sister-in-law and my brother had a gender party because she's pregnant and it's a boy. So I'm going to be an uncle and it's a boy. I'm excited. I'm happy. I'm just tired. So that's why I'm not so energetic in this video as I, like I usually am. I just had a long day. I went to the gym, then I went to the party. But yes, I'm going to be an uncle and it's a boy and they made us wait forever. They actually had us cut. We had to wait for them to cut the cake. They said, oh, we're going to have a cake and that's going to tell the gender. When they brought the cake upstairs from the basement, it was white. I'm like, okay, what kind of baby is this? An alien? No, it was a boy. When she cut the cake, when she cut the cake. What the hell? <laughs> was blue filling inside so that means it's a boy thank you for watching my video please subscribe to my channel please comment below with any questions like i said this is a q a video if you have any questions comment below and guess what i'm gonna answer them next week so have at it ask a million questions and i'll give you a million answers next week have a good night everybody